I'm here with Dr. Romano this morning and we're going to do a problem on electrochemistry. Hi, how are you? Come around, I wanna show you what we have. This is a very important DAT question and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do four or five problems in one. The first question, I ask you to find what's called the cell voltage or the cell potential of a certain reaction. So I give you a reaction. Here we have the lead cation reacting with aluminum to give the aluminum cation plus lead. What we do is I give you the data, and the data are known as the reduction potentials because they're all written in terms of reductions. Now, the first thing you need to understand is whenever you calculate an E0, ignore the coefficients. When you calculate an E0, this is an intensive property, meaning it doesn't depend on the amount of material. So the coefficients ignore. The way I like to teach my students is if you focus on this side, you got PB plus 2. PB plus 2 is on this side. So that means you're going to keep the value of the E0. So we're going to keep the negative 0.13. Now you look on this side. You're always looking on the left side. You have aluminum. And here the aluminum is over here. It's on the opposite side. So we're going to switch the sign of this. So you're going to keep the negative 13. Switch the sign of negative 166, make it positive, add them up, and you get a positive voltage. Don't forget, guys, a positive E0 means the reaction is spontaneous. Spontaneous means that it will be driven by the redox reaction. You don't need an external voltage source. Part B, I ask you to find the delta G. The delta G is given by minus N F E0. The F is a constant, 96,500. The E0, we already calculated, that was 1.53. So I put in 1.53. The N value is the number of electrons transferred. And I get a lot of emails on this. All you would do is look at the data and look at the common denominator between a 3 and a 2. The common denominator is a 6. So that's why I use a 6. Multiplying together, we get a negative delta G. Again, negative delta G, of course, means the reaction is spontaneous, and we get negative 1.04 to the 6 joules. Another DAT question they love is what's the anode? Never forget, an ox and a red cat. The anode is the site of oxidation, and reduction is at the cathode. What we're going to do is we look with our eyes. Let's look at the solid. Now an anode and a cathode are always made of solids. So that you can't forget. What's happening to the aluminum? It's undergoing an oxidation. It goes from a zero to a plus three. Because aluminum is undergoing an oxidation, aluminum is the anode, and by the process of elimination, the other solid must be the cathode. All right. Finally, letter D, what's the reducing agent? The reducing agent is the substance undergoing oxidation. And I'm hoping you can see that aluminum goes from a zero to a plus three. Aluminum zero, or just aluminum, is being oxidized. If it's oxidized, it's the reducing agent. And the oxidizing agent is that substance being reduced. We always look on the left side, since the reaction is going from left to right. And you can see that lead plus two is being reduced. And if you want to put your little zero in, that's fine. It's going from plus two to a zero. So that means that PB plus two is being reduced and it's the oxidizing agent. I can't stress the importance of what I just did. You have many, many possible questions they can ask on the deck. They love you to find the zeros. They love you to find delta G. They love you to identify the anode and the cathode, and of course, be able to tell the oxidized and the reducing agents. All right, this wraps this little video clip up. I hope this gives you a great idea of where to proceed. All right, good day to you. Bye-bye.